Welcome back. Before I move on to the next problem, I just want to make sure I kind of ru sometimes I rush near the end of the video just because I want to get under the the YouTube ten minute limit. But uh, I, I just want to make sure you understand what I the conclusions I reached in this problem because it's it's kind of interesting. If if I have a bunch of numbers and when I multiply them I get a non-zero number, I know none of these numbers can be zero because as you know if any one of them was zero or maybe more than one, then this value would be zero. So we know none of these can be zero, right? R, S, T, or V. And similarly between S, T, U, and V, right? Let me rewrite that. S, T, U, and V equals zero. We know that at least one of these must be zero because when you multiply it out you get zero. Maybe all of them are. Well, we know s is not 0 because it, it was up here. We knew t was not 0, and we knew v were not 0 because they were all up on this top one. And if any of them were 0, this top equation would have been 0. And that's how we reached that conclusion. So let's, let's move on. I hope I'm not confusing you. I'm, I'm doing it with a bit of a sense of urgency just because, well, I guess one should when taking the SAT. <laughs> all right, number eight. During a game, the blue team scored one sixth of its so let me see yeah, let me see so let me let me do the blue team in blue blue the blue team scored one sixth of its point in f first quarter so q one it scored one sixth of points one fourth in the second quarter so in q two it scored one fourth of its points one fourth in the second quarter, one third in the third quarter. So in Q three, it scored one third of its points. One third in the third quarter, and remaining points in the fourth quarter. Q which makes sense, right? Rest. Okay, in the fourth quarter. If the total score was thirty six, so total total is thirty six. Thirty six. How many points did the blue team score in the fourth quarter? Well, the total points are 36, right? So it says it scored one sixth in the first quarter. So one sixth of 36. You could just, you know, you could do that in your head, or you could just multiply fractions. If you say one sixth times 36, that equals 36 over six, which equals six, right? So it scored six points in the first quarter. How many did it score in the second quarter? Well, what's one fourth of eight? Well, you just multiply one I mean, one fourth of thirty-six. So you just multiply one fourth times thirty-six, and you get nine. One third of thirty-six. Well, that's twelve. So in the first three quarters, we scored what? Six plus nine is fifteen. Fifteen plus twelve is twenty-seven. So we scored twenty-seven in the first three quarters, right? And then in the, we scored the rest in in Q4. So it'd be the total points minus what we scored in the first three quarters, which is 27. And 36 minus 27 is 9 points. And if I look at the choices, that is choice C. And if I made a mistake, it's because I cannot add or multiply, add, subtract, or multiply fractions. But that's all there is to this problem. Let's move on. All right, you just multiply that. Sometimes I feel like I'm going too fast, so I want to make sure I'm not, I'm not confusing you. Okay, invert colors. I like these types because I don't have to write a lot or draw. Well, I like I like the drawing. It just takes time. I will switch colors to keep you from sleeping. Two, two to the two x. This is problem number nine. Problem number nine. Two to the two x is equal to eight to the x minus one. And they just want to know what is x. So at first you might be confused. But the trick to writing, to doing these kind of exponential, I guess we call them an exponential equation, is to get our bases the same. And once we get the bases the same, then we can set the exponents equal to each other. So how do I do that? Well, can I write 8 as a power of 2? Well, sure. What's 8? It's 2 to the third power. So let's rewrite 8 as 2 to the third power. So let's rewrite the whole thing. 2 to the 2x is 2 to the 2x is equal to, instead of 8, instead of 8, I'm going to write 2 to the third power, right? Because that's all 8 is. And hopefully you can review the exponent uh, uh, video if, if you don't remember that. And this 8 is this, right? And then that's going to be to the x minus 1. And then if you remember your exponent rules, and you should remember your exponent rules before taking the SAT, you know that if you raise something to a power, 
and then raise that to a power, you can just multiply these two exponents. So that gets us to 2 to the 2x is equal to 2 to the 3 times x minus 1, right? Then you distribute the 3. So it's 2 to the 3x minus 3, right? 3 times x, 3 times minus 1, 3x minus 3. Now, 2 to the 2x is equal to 2 to the 3x minus 3. So we know that the two exponents must be equal to each other, right? Because we have the same base. So we, now this becomes a level 1 linear equations problem. 2x is equal to 3x minus 3. We can subtract 3x from both sides, and we get minus x is equal to minus 3, or x is equal to 3. And we are done. And this is choice number b. Turning the page, number 10. Image, clear image, image, invert colors. All right. Number 10. If 4 less, yeah, I like these. If 4 less than 3 times a certain number is 2 more than the number, what is the number? OK. So this is literally tra turning English into math. So I'm going to actually write the whole thing. Not that you should do this on the SAT, because it'll take you too much time. But you can do this kind of with their written word. If 4 less than 3 times a certain number is 2 more than the number, what is the number? What is number? OK. So instead of a certain number, I like to replace that with x, right? Just because I'm going to have to solve for x. So I'm going to say, I'm going to change this, and I'm going to say this is x. What is x more than the number x? So now we have if 4 less than 3 times x is 2 more than x, what is the number? So f what is 4 less than 3 times x? 4 less than 3 times x. Well, 3 times x is what? It's 3x, right? 3 times x, so if I took, if I took this part, 3 times x, that's 3x. And then 4 less than that, 4 less than that, or less than that, it's going to be minus 4, right? And that is, and I view is, you could view that as equals, right? You could have replaced the word equals with is, and it wouldn't have changed it, um, it wouldn't have changed the meaning of the sentence. So that equals 2 more than the number, or in our case, x. So what is 2 more than x? Well, yeah, that's x plus 2. 2 more than x, you could just rewrite in math as x plus 2. And then we, we solve the equation. So let's see, you can add 4 to both sides. You get 3x is equal to x plus 6. Subtract x from both sides. You get 2x is equal to 6. And divide both sides by 2. And you get x is equal to 3. And there we go. It's choice E. I will stop this video here because the next one involves drawing. And I don't want to draw on your time. I'll see you soon.